Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, how to read data from a file on application server. And in the previous video, we open the file, we are reading data from the file, and if there is no further data to read, we are exiting from the do loop also. Now, one by one, record will go to lv underscore string. If you see how it will work, first record will go to lv underscore string. Second record, third record, fourth record, fifth record. Now, there is no further record. Read data set will give size sub rc other than zero and it will exit. So now, what is our target? we need to capture these five records into internal table and we will display these five records. So how to do that? If you remember, when we transfer the data, we concatenated the values. Now we have to split. Why split? So that we can understand this is our order number, this is order date, this is payment mode, this is total amount. Now we have to split and on what you will split, we will split on hash. So I will firstly declare internal table and work areas. I will take from the previous program itself. So I'll just copy the structure first from the previous program. I will go for internal table and work areas. Total amount, I will take it out is of character only so that there will be no confusion. Now, first record will go to LB underscore string, size sub RC will be zero. So I will split. I will split LB underscore string. And on what operator you want to split? We want to split on hash because hash is the separator hash. So we will split at hash into. Now I will specify the work area for variables. Work area hyphen order number. Work area hyphen order date, work area hyphen payment mode, work area hyphen total amount. So this LV underscore string splitted at hash. So what will be your work area order number? Work area order number two. Work area order date. This is your order date. Work area payment mode C. Work area amount will be 30. So your first record is in the work area. How you will append the record to internal table? Append work area to internal table. And we all know after every uh, append, we should clear the work area. Clear work area. So again, do loop will continue. It will read the second record. It will split the second record. Second record will go to internal table. Third record, fourth record, fifth record. After fifth record, size sub RC will be other than zero. So it will simply, simply exit from the inner loop. Now, all our five records are in this internal table. Can we display the records? Yes. So I will write loop at internal table into work area. I will go for end loop. And we will write our variables or values, right? Work area hyphen order number, work area hyphen order date, work area hyphen payment mode, work area hyphen total amount. I'll check the syntax and activate. 
for the best understanding we will see in that debugging mode so that you can understand how each and every record is reading and if there is no further record how it is coming out i'll put a breakpoint on open data set statement i'll go to desktop 3 this is your file this is your file name so firstly i will do f6 you can see size sub r c0 it means file successfully opened now it will go to do loop read data set your file into lv underscore string means first record from the file will go to lv underscore string and you can see this is your first record first record you can see hey, this is our first record this is our first record now we are splitting it on hash size of rc is zero yes we are splitting this lv underscore string on hash so you can see this is our order number work area order number work area order date work area payment mode and this is our work area total amount now first record is in work area from work area we are appending it to internal table so this is our first record in the internal table now do loop will continue for second record yes second record it is reading size of r c is 0 now you can see in lv underscore string now we have the second record this is our second record second record so it will split on hash after splitting it will go to second record will go to work area you can see we have the second record is in work area from the work area we are putting it to internal table now you can see internal table has second record now same way we can go for third record we can go for fourth record now we can go for fifth record fifth record size of bar c is zero now now the important part will come all five records are in the internal table we are able to read successfully now this is our read statement now there is no further record in the file to read so whenever this read will execute you can see size sub bar c is other than 0 if size sub bar c is other than 0 it will go to else part and it will simply simply exit from the do loop now you can see it simply exited from the do loop because loop should we should exit from the loop now we have five records in the internal table and we are displaying these five records so this is our full learning if we have a file on the application server or i'll say in al11 directory how to read data from that particular file so in this particular topic we learned again new statement read data set to read the data from the file and we use this particular syntax firstly we open the file in input we read the records one by one and then we will close the file i will just check i use the close statement or not yes so see we open the file we read the records from the file this after that you should you should should close the file also i forgot to write that statement i will simply simply whenever you are able to read all the records you have to go for closing the file also whenever it will read all the records one by one you should you should close the file so it will read the records one by one whenever there is no further record it will simply simply come out from the do loop and you should close the file after do loop i will just close the file 
whenever do loop will finish means if it able to if it comes out from the do loop you should close the file so never forget to close the file also if you are going for write or if you are going for read please please never forget to close the file also so i use the close data set statement once we are able to read all the records and we come out from the so that's it in this particular video thank you